Hello, Rob Legere and Harrison Prada here to help doctors solve some 3D problems today related to hyperdent and loading your all on X designs into hyperdent, getting that ready for milling and some pitfalls to avoid in uh, loading those files into hyperdent and um, you know setting them up for milling in a fast and efficient manner. Uh, and, and what we're going to talk about and dive into is uh, loading the ExoCAD construction file as opposed to the STL file. So Harrison, thanks for walking us through uh, this process. Why don't we start by showing what happens when you import an STL file of an Allonix case into Hyperdent and uh, how does that behave and then how do we avoid that? Hi Rob, thanks for having me here today and um, we're gonna start. So first we're gonna open Hyperdent once we have our case ready to go, I see an issue, just the STL case. So this is loading an STL file into Hyperdent. And uh, now, when you do that, what do we see here? We have an issue here that we don't see the margins uh, mark in our hybrid. And I'm going to show you how to mark those margins and how to solve the problem here. But as you can see here, we don't have the margin line. And if, if we have it like this, the case will not mill. So if you import an STL, you have to manually identify the margin lines for that multi-unit interface. And then you also have to identify the screw channel holes. So why don't you just show us one uh, and then just, just to reference the steps that need to be done. And then we'll go look at the ExoCAD construction file. Okay, so once once I get here, I just change part. Right now it's shown as a coping. So first we have to change it as a abutment bridge. We go to our in the five parts free features. We click here. We click on our margin. Once we have our margin, we turn this, and we're gonna mark three points. We click in holes, so and now we're gonna do our, our screw channel. See, now we have our screw channel. That this part will meal correct, and now we have our margin line. So we know there's a way to do this manually, drawing the margin line and identifying the screw channel. And Harrison, why don't we do it? We'll do a separate video doing a deep dive on the way to you know manually set up your STL file for milling. But today we want to avoid this problem by taking advantage of the construction file that ExoCAD will give you when you export that all in X case. So why don't you show us what the construction file is and how to import that and then leverage the benefit of that with Hyperdent. So once we have a case here done in ExoCAD, we come to the Open and Explore, and this is when we grab our case. So we, you can see here the construction info and the dental um, file, the still file. So we mm. grab those two cases and save them or create a folder, you know, we're just gonna name it. Now we have our files here, but we make sure we get the construction file, construction info file. Now we come here to Hyperdent, and as you can tell, this one came with our construction file. And you can see the margin and the screw channel and the right position of the hybrid. Awesome. So that's, that's the benefit of having the construction file all the time. But there's sometimes we don't get it, so we can we can do it manually too. But that will take us like 20 or 15 minutes more instead of five minutes here, you know? Now that we have this case imported here, why don't you walk us through how you're going to manipulate and adjust the sprues uh, for you know your optimal milling. So once I get my sprues here, it comes automatic, the sprues, so I'm just going to click them because I don't like on the position they are right now. So I'm going to select connectors and click delete, delete select. So you're going to delete all of the connectors and then start over manually so that you can place them in the optimal position. Correct. Go to connectors. 
manually. I always go the second option here, manually. Because if I go automatic, they will place everywhere, you know? Got With it. Manually, I can Got control more. So I like to place five in the back. So five on the lingual. Five on the lingual. Four on the buckle side. So I place here. Here. You never want to place them close to the screw channel. So keep them away from the screw channel. The other part I do is um, I use the user define area. This will define more in detail more the cervical area, the incisal. So basically adding a higher definition area for your milling process? Yes, correct. That's so I go to the user define and I mostly I do the four front ones, the four anterior ones, or I go the six canine to canine. This bar I'm Why don't just you show doing. us that. Look user define Then I go dot here, dot here, click here. And I don't want to overpass the incisal edge. So I want to go okay. here. Also, I see this. I don't, I don't want my sprue on this canine, so I'm going to remove this. By clicking on the sprue, you can move it without delete the sprue. Oh, nice. Now I have everything in place. I like to use the C claim on. I have a. The DYF or any Roland can be used to instead okay. of the round one because the C you can mill all this part, the outside part, and not have an issue. And sometimes you can have room for two hybrids instead of just one. Ah, so you can position the arch towards the the edge of the disc. The edge of the disc to have um, room for two. Amazing. So once I have it in position where I want it, and I just calculate it, and it's ready to go, you know. Instead of awesome. doing it manually, I will still probably still doing it right now manually. But this is the benefit with the construction file in place. Definitely want to leverage that uh, construction file for sure. H how long should the calculation take? Uh, at least 10 minutes. Depends of the internet and depends of the details of the anatomy of the case. So okay. at least 15, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, sometimes less. So right now it's at 1%. Okay. Well, we'll... We'll hang on here and, and fast forward and take a look at the uh, uh, the generated file after the calculations, and then you can show us uh, some things to look for to make sure the calculations are good. All right, so after the all on X is done calculating, uh, what do we look at next, Harrison, to make sure that the calculation was good? So right now the software is saying it, it, it is good, but I like to verify we can verify by clicking here click um, right right click so you see this this tab with options then I go show tool path I click there okay and this is the simulation and seeing how it's gonna mill the case so what are we looking for here we're gonna make sure everything's milling correct so you click in simulation and we can tell all the screw channels are clean and they're gonna mill correct. So you're just doing a, a visual inspection to make sure that the geometry looks clean? Yes. And that there's no sometimes you can see a screw channel not going to mill correct and this is the part where you can see it. Right now we can see everything will be ready to go and pretty much 
that's it. Awesome. Well, Harrison, thank you for walking us through this. And in review, it's possible to import an STL file into HyperNet. You would just manually need to identify the margin line. Harrison, how many years have you been working with all NX cases? I've been working with all the next cases almost eight years. Amazing. And you have a lot of chair side experience as well, so you're familiar with a lot of the clinical workflows. Yes, a lot of experience with um, patients and the clinical side and working close with uh, doc doctors. So, yeah. Amazing. So if any of you would like to book time with Harrison, you can find him at rebel3d.com forward slash Harrison, which is G-E-R-S-O-N, and uh, he's available to help you solve any problems you have with Hyperdent, and whether it's loading an STL file and uh, manually um, annotating that file to get a good mill, or also you know tips and tricks of importing the, the construction file and getting an optimal output uh, for your all NX cases. So Harrison, thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks for your time, guys. Thank you.